needed to serve me. Greetings, I am Zaz. I too am a cerebrate of the Overmind. I have located a small band of Terrans who could threaten the Chrysalis and the Hive Cluster. You must not allow them to leave here alive. <laughs> such as Marines, can be trained at this facility. Well done, Cerebrate. What I have wrought this day shall be the undoing of my enemies. Let not a Terran survive. Glad to see you, boys. Time to kick some serious butt. What the hell is that? Looks like the ground there is alive. Thanks for the rescue. These we things have been out here for days hiding from the Need a light. Transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zerg forces. Distress beacon activated at 1220. <laughs>
forces are under attack. Receiving incoming transmission from Arcturus Minsk. You and Captain Reyna have done well, Commander. I believe our efforts have weakened the Confederacy's grip on the fringe worlds. But our job out here isn't done yet. Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second in command, will elaborate. I'll get straight to the point. Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. They've stationed a large detachment of Alpha Squadron troops there, under the command of General Duke. Y'all need some good old-fashioned discipline. Make up your mind. Reporting for duty. Captain Raynor, I finished scouting out the area and... You pig! What? I haven't even said anything to you yet. Yeah, but you were thinking it. SCV, good to go, sir. Oh, yeah. Order for telepath. Look, yes, let's sir. just get on with this, okay? Right. I haven't got all day. I hate these things. They can sense me even when I'm cloaked. We should take these out. Confederate strike force advancing on our position. Well, they're not wasting any time. I read you. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? doing this 
guess we better hurry. That ship won't last long against those Zerg. Enemy communications detected. Patching into comms. Just as they destroyed Korhal with nuclear weapons to establish dominance a generation ago, they would use the Zerg to put an end to their other rivals. Only this time there'd be no outrage. Who could suspect the aliens were their creation? No, they'd be lauded as heroes for coming in and destroying the Zerg. It's time the Confederacy paid for its crimes. And I know just the way. Lieutenant Kerrigan is going to plant an emitter at the Confederate base camp. Commander, you will provide her with an escort. When the Zerg arrive, they'll break the blockade for us and we'll make our escape. Now, get moving. There are to be no arrests, Lieutenant. I hope you understand what I mean. I want this problem solved once and for all. Good hunting. I'm having doubts about this, Arcturus. I just don't think anyone deserves to have the Zerg unleashed on them. I know you have personal feelings about this, but you can't let your past cloud your judgment. Carry out your orders, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Systems
Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. I've defended Tarsonus in over 30 major battles, so I know its defenses inside and out. There are three primary orbital platforms that serve as staging areas for the Confederate fleet. If we assault the central platform, we should cause enough of a ruckus to allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you for the frontal assault type. Well, the Confederates have Omega and Delta Squadron troops defending the platform. But they're nothing compared to my Alpha Squadron boys. <laughs> right. Yes, sir. Orders received. Transmit coordinates. Systems functional. I can't believe this. Alpha Squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Somebody call for an exterminator? You call down the thunder. Now reap the world. Nuclear launch detected. 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 Research complete. Commander, 
This is General Edmund Duke of the Terran Dominion Armada. You are in violation of our airspace and have endangered human lives in your reckless attack against the Zerg. I order you to withdraw your ships immediately. If you fail to comply, I will not hesitate to open fire upon your vessels. General Duke, I am Tassadar, and you are well known to me. Whatever leniency I extended to you and your comrades before may have been in error. If you persist in halting our course, we will burn your pathetic fleet down to the last man. I'm gonna have to assume that was a hostile response. Why are you doing this, Kerrigan? Look, I know about your past. I mean, I've heard the rumors. I know you were part of those experiments with the Zerg, that Mengst came and saved you. But you don't owe him this. Hell, I saved your butt plenty of times. Jimmy, drop the knight in shining armor routine. It suits you sometimes. Just not, not now. I don't need to be rescued. I know what I'm doing. The Protoss are coming to destroy the entire planet, not just the Zerg. I know that because, well, I just know it. I am a ghost, remember? Once we've dealt with the Protoss, we can do something about the Zerg. Arcturus will come around. I know he will. I hope you're right, darling. Good hunting. Receiving incoming transmission. Uh, boys? How about that evac? Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave her! All ships prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. Damn you, Arcturus. I Don't forget this. Back. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now! Commander? Jim? What the hell is going on up there? Explosions. Warning. Warning. Stay cool, Commander. Remember the plan. The Zerg are to remain unharmed. What is this? Receiving incoming transmission. Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. The seeds of a new empire have been sown. And if we hope uh, to reach- To hell with you! You're making a terrible mistake. Don't even 
thing to cross me. I have sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. You mean like you sacrificed Kerrigan? You'll regret that. You don't seem to realize my situation here. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. If you try to get in my way... We're gone. I will not let that fringe world yokel run away this time. Activate the ion cannon. Hey, Commander. Looks like we're on our own. It's funny. Seems like yesterday Arcturus was the idealistic rebel crusader. Now he's the law and we're the criminals. Kills me to know that we helped him achieve his goals of conquest. Damn it. I shouldn't have let her go alone. The fleet is prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. It appears that General Duke has successfully activated Tarsonis' primary defensive weapon, the Ion Cannon. The cannon must be shut down if any escape attempt is to be made. It's time to kick ass and study tactics. And I studied all the tactics, boy. their colony. It spontaneously generates larva, which in turn are used to spawn nefarious warriors and minions. Now, create a drone and start gathering resources. Systems functional. Go ahead, command. Report for duty. I read you. Overlords provide control for your minions. As your forces grow in number, you must hatch more Overlords to control them. You Order have enough minerals. Select a larva and mutate it into an Overlord. I read you. To create new warrior strains, you must generate the various hive structures. The drones themselves mutate into these structures, yet be careful. Never use your last drone to make a building. Now, 
Order your drone to become a spawning pool. Yes, sir? You'll notice that structures can only implant themselves upon the creep. You want a piece of me, Ole? You can make creep colonies to extend the creep, but only a hatchery can be built upon open ground. Yes, sir? Greetings. I am Saz. I too am a cerebrate of the Overmind. I have located a small band of Terrans who could threaten the Chrysalis and the Hive Cluster. You must not allow them to leave here alive.
This Zerobrite is so stupid. Please make a new one. This is in danger. Recover it before all is lost. Zerg are here for you, darling? <laughs> this keeps getting better and better. Shut up. 
Protoss Commander. It was folly of you to come here, for I am Kerrigan, and I am Queen of the Zerg. I know of you well, O oh Queen of the Zerg, for we have met before. I am Tassadar of the Templar. I remember your selfless exploits, defending humanity from the Zerg. Unfortunate it is to see that one who was once so honorable and full of life would succumb to the twisted wiles of the Overmind. Do not presume to judge me, Templar. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. In fact, I sense that your vaunted power has diminished since last we met. Mayhap, O oh Queen. Or is it only that I need not flaunt my power in such an infantile test of will? Foolish Templar, prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. Kerrigan, I sense something strange about this Templar. Perhaps you should reconsider your attack. For the last time, Zars, you question my motives and authority at your own peril. You dare threaten a celebrate? You will be the doom of us all. Tassadar, do your underlings always do your fighting for you? This shall be our battleground, O Queen. Face me here, and I will defeat you myself. Receiving. Let's go. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Illusion. Are you afraid to face me, Templar? So long as you continue to be so predictable, O oh Queen, I need not face you at all. You are your own worst enemy. Without its master, Zas's brood has run amok and even now threatens the Hive Cluster. Cerebrate, you must eradicate the rampaging brood and stem any further damage it might cause. I shall deal with the Protoss myself.
forces are under attack. Das Tassadar. Our attack on the Zerg Cerebrit was successful. The damage we dealt caused Zerg broods to run amok and massacre each other, and gave pause to the Overmind itself. However, the Overmind has recovered, and now it drives the Zerg Swarm to hunt down my brethren. We are moving to assassinate the Overmind's most resourceful Cerebrit, Dagath. If we succeed our task, the swarms will surely fall and give us enough time to assault the Overmind directly. I commend your courage, Zeratul. I shall escort your brethren to pass through the Zerg blockade safely. We may also have an alternative. If we can kill the Queen of Blades, the broods here will likely retreat to regroup their forces, which will give the Dark Templar enough time to assassinate the Cerebrit. May Adun watch over us, my friend. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
overconfident of your abilities, Dark One. I am no helpless Seraphit to be assailed under cover of darkness. I am the Queen of Blades, and my stare alone would reduce you to ashes. You and your ilk cease to amuse me. Prepare yourself for Oblivion's embrace. Suffer well, count your mind of the Zerg. To defeat a swarm, tear out its heart. The Conclave has dictated that our first priority is to strengthen our defenses. You must reinforce our outpost in Antioch and make certain that the province does not fall to the Zerg. Your old comrade, Praetor Phoenix, will meet you there and assist you in this endeavor. Ah, Executor and Taro Adun, it is good to see you once more upon the field of battle. You know, Executor, although we two have marched across hundreds of worlds together, I never imagined that we would be fighting an iron. The Zerg are indeed worthy foes. Executor? Executor, Antioch is under attack by overwhelming Zerg forces. Praetor, you must hold your position for as long as possible. Fight on, brave Phoenix, and know that the gods watch over you. Entaro Adun. What would you ask of me?
children, watch my perfect landing on the Protoss homeworld. Wait, is that the famous Protoss capital ship Gantir for? Oh f- Cerebrate, the Protoss on this location are still resisting our invasion. You must find their leader and exterminate him.
He has proven himself to be the most resourceful enemy we have ever encountered. I shall deal with him with my deadliest minions and ensure his death. For now, the main Protoss Strike Force are advancing on our Hive Clusters. You must destroy them at all costs. My brood shall aid you. Executor, Antioch is under attack by overwhelming Zerg forces. Praetor, you must hold your position for as long as possible. Fight on, brave Phoenix, and know that the gods watch over you. Entaro Atun. I have found Tassadar. He is with a former friend of mine. They both pose a significant threat for the swarm. You must not allow them to leave here alive. Executor, how is it that you've come here? I was about to abandon all hope of rescue. I have come to arrest you and bring you home to Aya to stand trial. Arrest me? Aya burns at the touch of the Zerg. You travel all this way to arrest me? Don't let it get to you, man. This happened to me once. Who is this human, Tassadar? The name's Jim Rayner, pal, and I won't be talked down to by anybody. Not even a Protoss. Amusing. Tassadar, your taste in companions grows ever more inexplicable. Executor, prepare to take Tassadar into Executor, custody. Executor, wait. I do not know what they have told you about me. But what I have done, I have done for Ayer. Help me find Zeratul and his Dark Templar. They alone can defeat the Overmind Cerebrates. Once we have won, 
I shall gladly submit myself to the judgment of the Conclave. Unthinkable. You presume that we would side with the Dark Ones as you have? You have gone quite mad, Tazadar. You shall speak of them with respect, Aldaris. Executor, there is much that I can explain to you. If only you'll help me find Zeratul. of our airspace and have endangered human lives in your reckless attack against the Zerg. I order you to withdraw your ships immediately. If you fail to comply, I will not hesitate to open fire upon your vessels. Commander, I have an incoming transmission from the Protoss flagship Gantrathor. I'll patch it through. General Duke, I am Tassadar, and you are well known to me. Whatever leniency I extended to you and your comrades before may have been an error. If you persist in halting our course, we will burn your pathetic fleet down to the last man. I'm gonna have to assume that was a hostile response. <laughs> Commander. Right away, sir. Make it 
forces are under attack. Executor, you and the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the Conclave. We will take the outlaw Zeratul into custody and deal with him as is written by the Conclave. Lead back to your master, Zaldaris, and huddle with them in darkness, or your actions shall send us all unto the Zerg. <laughs> Executor, don't give up the fight.
Kassadar of the Templar. By your actions, you have severed yourself from the mercy of your brethren. You refuse to destroy the Terran worlds as was commanded. You have questioned time and time again the sacred will of the Conclave, and you have abandoned your home world in its darkest hour. Most grievous of all is that you have allied yourself with the blasphemous Dark Ones and learn to utilize their profane powers in tandem with our own. What say you, O oh fallen Templar? Eldaris, I submit myself to the Conclave's judgment. But know this, given the same choices again, I would surely have made them. I have sacrificed all that our world might live. I have sullied my honor. I have discarded my rank and standing. I have even broken our most ancient traditions. But never think that I would for one moment regret my actions. For I am Templar, and above all else, I have sworn to protect our homeworld till the end. Executor, we have found Tassadar's stasis cell. We will attempt to free him now. I expected you to attempt to retrieve your hero. You will learn that the will of the Conclave is absolute. Make peace with Adun. This is Rainer. I'd like to help if I can. Tass and I laid it on the line for me and my crew on Char. I'd like to repay the debt. Besides, I'm a long way from home, surrounded by hostile aliens. I've got to do something. Then you shall, old human. You shall. Warriors have engaged. 
you now, Darius? Cerebrate, the Dark Templar are approaching to our primary hive clusters. If they reach you, they will nullify your reincarnation and breach our defenses. You must break their offensive and eliminate the Dark Templar. <laughs>
Executor, our plan worked perfectly. The Zerg defenses are broken, and the way to the Overmind is laid bare. The time for our stand has come. Indeed. My friends, this is our final hour. Not all of us may survive the coming conflict. Yet, death may be a blessing should we fail here. We seek now to destroy a foe that has ravaged its way across the universe, consuming all in its path. And now, it has reached the end of its long journey. The Overmind has come to destroy all that we hold dear, and assimilate us into itself. And I say to thee, this shall not come to pass. Fire shall not fall! Executor! I stand ready. As do I. Well, I guess all I have left is to see this through. The Zerg have taken everything from me. My home, my family, my friends. I know that nothing I do can bring those things back. But I'll be damned if I just sit on my hands and wait for the end. I want a piece of them, all right. Evolution complete. Then let our Evolution actions complete. speak for us. For Adun. For Ayr. Executor. Tassadar. This comes too late to you. But the Conclave has witnessed your defeat of the Cerebrate. They know now that they cannot deny the necessity Evolution or the value complete. of your actions. We sought to punish you, while it was we who were in error. You represent what is greatest in us all, and all our hopes go with you. Antaro Adun, brave sons of ire. Wow. Does that mean they're gonna send some backup for us? Speed our way into a collision course with the Overmind. 
You are right, of course. Here comes the Gantrithor. Oh, fuck! We should destroy these Midas canals, so as to stem the flow of Zerg reinforcements through them. Internal Lagoon! There is no time to waste! We must join our brethren in battle! Our forces are under attack! The Gantrithor. Oh, fuck!
Kedor. There are Zerg on Shakuras. They must have taken control of the warp gate on Ire. I'm sure the Matriarch will be eager to hear your tale as well. Sensors show that the two cerebrates are surrounded by spore colonies. We will deploy our Corsairs to compensate for their defenses. I don't know it us.
Greetings, Commander. We have successfully recovered the Kaderin crystal as you instructed. However, we are detecting Protoss forces descending upon the surface of Braxis. I assume that the Protoss are here for the crystal. We are receiving a transmission from Emperor Mengsk. Our intelligence reports that Kerrigan is in league with the Protoss. She will try to prove herself to Protoss by retrieving this crystal. Personally, this is our chance, Commander. I think it's time to put an end to Kerrigan's miserable life as a Zerg. Protect the crystal and finish off Kerrigan. Good luck.
forces are under attack. Comrade Executor, you are proving even more tenacious than I thought. What a great threat you are to your enemies. Do me this favor, grace me with your presence in Telematros so I may thank you in person. Before you go anywhere, you should see this. It arrived today, sent in secret from Rashagal. If you have received this, I... I presume by now I am finally dead. I'm losing. I don't know how to. I do to read us. I'm forgetting words. Bah! Kerrigan, she is controlling my mind. She has killed me. If I am gone now, the command is yours. Send this Ion crystal far and wide. Take my planet back for the glory of Adu and the spirit of justice. I think you are satisfied now, Executor. Kerrigan's allies have their own stronghold here outside Talimatros, and she is amassing her own forces but the bulk of the Templar are yours. Don't, don't speak, Executor. They are listening for you now. If we do not speak again, it has been an honor to serve as your counsel. Judicator, there are massive output of dark Templar energy sparking from Zeratul's base. Our observers show that these energies are coming from Dark Archons. They possess immense psionic powers, unlike all we have ever seen before. We must stand resolute. Despite how powerful they can be, these profane abominations won't be able to stand in our way. For the gods are in our side and we must prevail. Entaro Tassadar, brave sons of Ayr. If we die, all hope dies with us.
I would sooner die, Darkwan, than tarnish the memory of Ire by joining with you. Your fate was sealed the moment your matriarch allied herself with the Queen of Blades. Those of us still loyal to Ayer will never be slaves to Kerrigan and her broods. Alderis, be reasonable. Kerrigan has changed. She no longer seeks to enslave anyone. Do not force us to destroy you. You can no longer afford to be so naive, Artanis. While you were securing the crystals, I discovered that your matriarch has been harboring a dark secret. She has been manipulated by this. We have no time for this. An illusion. Amusing. Kerrigan. What mockery is this? I discovered that your matriarch has been manipulated by the Queen of Blades. I can scarcely believe this. And we've almost played right into her hands. Wretched creature. Restore her to her rightful self, or you will pay dearly for this offense, Kerrigan. You have done well, Banderas. There's more to you than it seems. Perhaps I have misjudged you. You are right, of course. I represent what is greatest in us all. Amusing. What could you possibly know about Judicator Aldaris, Dark One? Behold, I am made whole once more. The cunning Protoss am dead. Gigante Forest coming again! No! How did that critter get into the briefing? I cannot even... I need a vacation. The Protoss are retreating into the Zell Naga Temple. They will likely channel the energies of Kalas through the temple and use it against us. You must destroy them before they gain the upper hand. When you bring the crystals to the temple, the Zerg will surely send all their legions to destroy you. You must be prepared to protect the temple itself from the swarm. The Kallus is secured. The Urash is secured. All forces are under attack. Executor. Zeratul and I will begin to channel the temple's energies. You must prevent the Zerg from destroying the temple while we work. I don't be with All you, Executor. All forces are under attack. <laughs>
so long ago we be made complete. For the Protoss too were created by the Zelnaga. They were the first creation, gifted with a purity of form. And we were the second creation, blessed with a purity of essence. Indeed, our two species are but opposite Our forces are under attack. Soon shall our two races be made as one. Henceforth shall all feel the wrath of the eternal swarm, for the hour of judgment is come. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Dominion Armada, and in the name of Emperor Mengsk, I order you to surrender your forces immediately and unconditionally. Ah, General Duke. I expected your forces to arrive sooner. You should know that we represent not one of your ragtag peasant militias, but the combined might of the United Earth Directorate. Earth Directorate? You mean to tell me you've come all the way out here from Earth? That is correct, General. We're here to take control over this sector and its occupants for the betterment of mankind. Over my dead body. I don't care where you're from, son. No one pushes around the Terran Dominion on my watch. All units, fire at will. doesn't have any gas. Guess we'd better start looking for another geyser. I read you. Orders received. Captain, SCV, I am go, Lieutenant sir. Samir Duran of the Confederate Resistance Forces. I've been monitoring your attack against the Dominion, and I'd like to help you my services and skills in return for others. STV, good to go, it's sir. Three. Lieutenant, you have absolutely no or idea as to who we are or what we have come here to do. Man, Why do you wish to side with us? Because my men and I have sworn to fight against the Dominion and its Emperor. And seeing as how go, your sir. forces have been laying into this Dominion base, I figured we were on the same side. I see. How exactly do you propose to be of service to us, Lieutenant? SCV, good well, to go, sir. I possess intimate knowledge of the surrounding area. I can show you an alternate route that leads to the rear of the main Dominion base. Report for duty. Well, Lieutenant. Consider yourself Roger that. Men, the first colonial conscripts of the United Earth Directorate. Captain, Report for duty. Consider the Lieutenant is given our full cooperation. We shall see if he's worth Roger that. Study tactics, boy. Confederate officer you were looking for has been dealt with. Good job, gentlemen. I believe that's the last we see of the Confederacy. What about the folks came from Earth? 
We don't have time, General Duke. The Zerg is growing in number in every passing moment. I want you to locate the side disruptor before they start rampaging once again. All right, then. That's enough discipline for you, Fringe World Yokels. Class dismissed. such concern for this device's inherent danger. I charge you with finding the disruption and securing it. We will commence with its destruction once we've cleared the area. Captain, our sensors are tracking Zerg signals in every direction. It appears that our intelligence was correct. Admiral, if we focus on destroying all of the hives in this area, we may be able to neutralize these Zerg without too much trouble. The UED now controlling our recently stolen battlecruisers. Korhal's defenses are lopsided and compromised. We are running special projects to replace them. In addition, we have nuclear silos ready for you to arm and launch in their defense. Hold the line against these interlopers from Earth. Protect these facilities with your life commander. Failure is not an option. Yes, sir? Nuclear launch detected. Nuclear launch detected. Vespine gas. Missile ready. Never know what hit him. I hear that. Goliath on him. Detective. Order, sir! 
Our very way of life is in danger. I'm calling in more troops. The Dominion must live on. You call down the thunder. Now reap the whirlwind. Shields up, weapons online. That's what I call tactics, boy. How y'all doing? Orders, Captain? Orders received. Receiving transmission. SCP good to go, sir. SCP good to go, sir. All crews identify yourself. Gentlemen, you have done very well. I'll handle the rest. This is Emperor Mengsk of the Terran Dominion. I wish to parley with your executive officer at once. You are indeed a worthy opponent. My thanks to you, sir. But you must know that your victory here means little to me. I'll overthrow your rule eventually. That seems unlikely, sir, seeing as how you'll be publicly executed along with the rest of your ranking officers. You'll have to postpone those plans, gentlemen. Sir, the rebel command ship Hyperion has just entered our sensor range. It is accompanied by a small Protoss fleet. Jim Rayner? What the hell are you doing here? I'm pulling your ass into the fire, Arcturus. We've got us a serious score to settle. But right now, a mutual acquaintance of ours wants you alive. Prepare your ships for dimensional recall. You wouldn't dare. Captain, we will discuss your tactics when you return.
Edmund, you must save me from this blasted world before the Zerg overrun us. Save you? The UED are still here. Where have you gone anyway, Mengsk? I'm outnumbered at least 20 to 1. You damn coward. About time you got a taste of what it's like to be in there mixing it up. Like your screw over Kerrigan. Damn it, Jim. If you hadn't showed up, I could... Shut up, Arcturus. Raider, our observers have detected the UED. We know they are here for young links. Wasn't expecting them to track us here. How long for the warp gate to be ready? Approximately 40 minutes. We'll have to defend the warp gate until then. Also, did you just call Mengsk young? Phoenix, how old are you? 398. Why? Sweet mother of mercy. I'm impressed. You will soon learn the irrelevance of age, James Rayner. I wish Tassadar was here for this. at the center of the Protoss encampment has been activated. Our sensors show that the gate's energies are inciting the Zerg to attack. Be prepared for anything, Captain. Zerg signals coming in from the northeast. That's Duran's position. But he seems to have moved his forces out of place. Lieutenant Duran, this is Stukov. Come in. I'm tracking a massive Zerg swarm in your quadrant. Respond, damn it. That is strange, Vice Admiral. My scanners don't show any Zerg at all. Maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment. 
Lieutenant, if these Zerg get through, we'll never be able to capture Minsk. I'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems your signal's fading out. I couldn't make out that last part. I'll try to re-establish contact later. Duran! We are under attack! Captain, your position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Zugal that I have a personal matter to get. We are under attack. Excuse me, Admiral, but I'd like to introduce someone to you. 
Duran. You son of a bitch. What's the meaning of this? Admiral de Gaulle, I've heard a lot about you. Who the... What the hell are you? I am Kerrigan. The Zerg you've killed here and the Overmind which you've come to collect are mine. As is our mutual friend, Lieutenant Duran. You see, Admiral, there are a number of groups in this sector who feel that your involvement here causes certain complications. My associates and I intend to make sure that your reign is short-lived. You may find that difficult, you abomination. Seeing as how I possess the means to disrupt your control of the Zerg. Ah, you're referring to your vaunted Psy Disruptor. It won't last you forever, Admiral. Sooner or later, I'll destroy it. Then I'll show you what the Zerg are really capable of. All right, boys and girls, listen up. Our objective is to locate and disable the Psy Disruptor's primary power generator. Once we've done that, we'll turn over the mission to Mexican Kerrigan. Let's move out. Yes, sir? I'm yes, gone. Easy, good to go, sir. Once the Zerg arrive there, you'll be able to assert direct control over them. Excellent work. Although these Zerg are now under my control, I sense that there are more Zerg out there. We must lure as many of them here as possible.
There is no way Your for me to force your order. Take it slow. Sir, we've got incoming, and I'll be damned if I can identify them. Whatever they are, you must destroy them, Lieutenant. That is a direct order. I read you. Yes, sir. Servant, I want you to infest as many Terran command centers as possible. Once they're infested, we'll be able to use them in our coming assault on Core Hall. Remember, Cerebrate, we'll need at least 10,000 units of crystals to maintain the Hive Clusters. Don't come back with anything less. I dig. It is difficult to believe that I am working alongside my greatest enemy in order to save this sector. Fortune has been whimsical of you. You Not sound like a tired energy. old man, Phoenix. Don't let the fact that I am 368 years older than you tell your impression of me, Beverly. I can still, how do you dare and say it, throw down with the best of them. I stand corrected. Not enough energy. Your forces are under attack. What the hell do they do in this command center? It is strange that this Kelmorian Combine continues to operate while the UED grips the Dominion with an iron fist. I'll never underestimate the motivational effects of Terran Green again. Destination, the United Two, sir! Phoenix! No. Don't worry, young Rainer. I have been transferred into a brand new Dragoon with the emergency recall. Our face smiths never cease to impress. Damn. You scared the hell out of me. Captain, we have visitors. Make sure you greet them in kind with our new tamed Zerg. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Order, Captain. The UED has sent its pet Zerg to reinforce their troops. But strangely enough, there aren't very many Zerg attacking. Maybe the UED is having more difficulty controlling the Overmind than I thought. Oh, 
forces are under attack. For, little girl. General Duke, you know I always wanted to have you killed. This is kind of exciting for me. Do your worst then, girl. You ain't taking Edmund Duke without a fight. This is a betrayal most foul, Kerrigan. We were fools to have got along with this charade. You're right, Phoenix. I used you to get the job done. And you played along just like I knew you would. You Protoss are also headstrong and predictable. You are your own worst enemies. The Kala awaits me, Kerrigan. And although I am prepared to face my destiny, you'll not find me easy prey. How many more noble souls do you need to consume before you're satisfied? How many more people need to die before you realize what you've become? You don't even know what you're talking about, Jim. Don't I? I'll see you dead for this, Kerrigan. Our base is under attack. Your forces are under attack. Time up. Started. Right away, sir. We're waiting on the end. Reporting for duty. We want to live in the I'm waiting on you. I read ya. Destination! I'm ready. Identify target! Lieutenant Kerrigan, reporting. What now? 
forces are under attack.
vengeance. Damn it, Sarah. Didn't have to be like this. Now, General Duke, about time we settle the score between us. With that vulture bike of yours? That'll never work. Where'd you study tactics, boy? Damn. Phoenix, can you handle this? Finally a worthy opponent. Our battle shall be legendary. That's right. Only one of us will leave here alive. Stukov? This keeps getting better and better. Y'all have a real good day now, here. Yeah. The time is upon us, Captain, to do what we came here for. Launch your forces, and let not a Zerg survive. have just discovered a massive wave of Zerg in high orbit. Hundreds of Zerg have landed upon Tarsonis and are even now approaching our location. A number of our outposts are already under attack by the Renegade Swarm. So the human is testing out the control of the pet overmind. I had hoped to lay low after the raised core hall, but it seems the UED is intent on forcing my hand. Shall I rally your forces, my queen? Yes, we've got to defend our remaining outposts and make sure that the renegades can't gain a foothold in our immediate vicinity. Once we've secured our perimeter, we'll begin to take the fight to their hive clusters. Your forces are under attack. We have located a small Terran facility towards the rear of the Renegade's landing zone. There appears to be a number of UED scientists working within the compound, but we are unable to determine the purpose of their presence. I know what they're up to. It's <laughs> that the UED's control of the Overmind is tenuous. Tarsonis is too remote for them to maintain direct control over the swarms, so they sent these scientists to coordinate their attack. Instead of it, focus your attacks against the Terran facility. All of the UED scientists must be killed. Only then will we be able to finish off these renegade Zerg. I am mess scientist. It's so cool. Mr. Benji. <laughs> I like your style, friend.
The Zerg are returned. We must banish them before they reach us into the Martyrs. It is my wish to not use dark archons for this task. It pains me to see our warriors sacrificing themselves against such beautiful abominations. Matriarch. Our warp matrix has been damaged in the last Zerg attack. We will be unable to warp in Stargates to this location. However, we can still use shuttles for travel.
reporting for duty. Yes, sir? Rashagal, do you wish to return to your tribe? No, my queen. I wish only to serve you and remain at your side. What treachery is this, Kerrigan? This pathetic creature cannot possibly be Rashagal. <laughs> I promised that I'd allow her to return to you, Zeratul. But it looks to me like she doesn't want to go. You have corrupted her. Somehow you have poisoned her thoughts. Restore her to her rightful self, or you will pay dearly for this offense, Kerrigan. All right, Zeratul. You've got me. I made your matriarch my slave long before I joined you on Shikoris. She made the mistake of underestimating my power, just like everyone else did. 
And now she's paid the price. With her as my puppet, I was able to eradicate the renegades on Shakuras and use you to kill the Overmind. And as you can see, your leader belongs to me now. Not bad, huh? We shall see, Kerrigan. We shall see. Timer started. May I be of service? Your warriors have engaged the enemy. sound worried, Kerrigan. Have I caught you at a bad time? Not at all, Arcturus. How'd you manage to scrape up your new fleet? Been raiding the salvage dumps again? I called in a few favors, made a few concessions. You'd be surprised to see how many special interest groups in this sector want to see you dead. I'm sorry to have to disappoint your new friends, Arcturus. But you really shouldn't have attempted this stunt. It'll take more than your three little fleets to bring me down. Three fleets? Don't play dumb, Arcturus. I've already spotted the other two fleets. Kerrigan, this is Artanis. My brethren and I have come to destroy you. In Toro Tassadar. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> the Protoss too. Care to take a guess as to who the third fleet is? No need to guess. It's Dugal and the remainder of the UED fleet. That is correct, Carrigan. This is Admiral Dugal. I am giving you one last chance to surrender your forces and submit to the sovereign authority of the United Earth Directorate. Gee, that's a tough one, Admiral. You'll have to let me think for a minute. You know, Admiral, I think I'll just massacre your remaining troops now and watch you die in agony. How would that be? You vastly underestimate me, my dear. I don't think so, Admiral. You see, at this point, I'm pretty much the Queen Bitch of the Universe. And not all of your little soldiers or spaceships will stand in my way again. So be it. Orders, Captain? 
Finally caught up to you, Minsk. And it looks like there's more work to be done. Edmund? I thought you were killed on Korhal. An update, then. I was fighting with Stukov and that Rainer's Protoss buddy. I must say they gave me too much trouble. But eventually, they couldn't stand against some good old-fashioned discipline. Also, that vagabond Rainer will never trouble you again. You've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. We have to deal with Kerrigan and her lackeys. I have absolute confidence in your abilities, Marshal Duke. You just sit tight. I'll take care of them. Your forces are under attack. Nuclear missile ready. All right, Mengsk. I'm about to duke nuke them all over this platform. Burn them to ash. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. to abort your whole freaking species. Unfortunately for you all, Kerrigan's death ends our alliance. It's time to decide who will rule the Koprulu sector, here and now. I am inclined to agree. So Kerrigan's treacherous nature was more human than expected. Come then, my warriors. This battle is not over. Your forces are under attack. Research complete. have no place in my sector.
Forgive me, Alexei and Helena. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take good care of your men. They will serve the Dominion unquestioningly. Fellow citizens of the Dominion, I have come to deliver great news. The UED has fallen before the might of the Dominion, and the Overmind's carcass decays upon ashes of char. The Zerg broods are shattered. As for the Protoss, they are but a vestigial relic who can't even hold on to their home world. This was the victory I have promised. I have delivered. We have won, though, no matter the cost. A great era of peace and prosperity is upon us. Let no more strife divide us. This is a great new day for humanity. And moving forwards from this new beginning, I will watch over you. That is correct, Carrigan. This is Admiral Dugall. I am giving you one last chance to surrender your forces and submit to the sovereign authority of the United Earth Directorate. Gee, that's a tough one, Admiral. You'll have to let me think for a minute. You know, Admiral, I think I'll just massacre your remaining troops now and watch you die in agony. How would that be? You vastly underestimate me, my dear. I don't think so, Admiral. You see, at this point, I'm pretty much the queen bitch of the universe. And not all of your little soldiers or spaceships will stand in my way again. So be it. Order, Scatter? Good morning, Gerard. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. Alexei, I thought you died. I was on Korhal handling unfinished business with General Duke and the Protoss survivors from Iron. Duke, Raynor, and Fenix were formidable. Good. You have truly gone all the way. I have found a cerebrate on my way here and bonded it to our will with neurostim drugs. It seems even though we lost our tamed overmind, we can still use its remaining minions in one way or another. Captain, keep your guard up against Mengsk and the Protoss. We may be comrades against Kerrigan, but they are not our friends.
stay in the abyss. Unfortunately for you all, Kerrigan's death ends our alliance. It's time to decide who will rule the Koprulu sector, here and now. I am inclined to agree. So Kerrigan's treacherous nature was more human than expected. Come then, my warriors. This battle is not over. Helena, by now the news of our great victory has reached the Earth. The creatures we were sent here to tame have been chained or shackled. The colonies here now answer to the sovereign authority of the UED. They have proven to be weaker than we anticipated. Whatever you may hear about what has happened out here, know this. Alexei lives. He has proven himself to be a greater man than I am. You will see me again, Helena. 
tell our children that I love them and that their father was victorious in defense of their future and he is coming home. Uh, our work here is not yet over, Admiral. There's still more to be done. It can wait, my good Alexei. Come, let's drink some vodka. Kerrigan, this is Artanis. My brethren and I have come to destroy you in Toro Tassadar. When it rains, it pours. I have a great trial ahead. May Tassadar guide my path. Don't worry, Artanis. We got your back. Greetings, Executor. And greetings to you, Artanis. I am overjoyed to see you both once more upon the field of battle. Phoenix, Raynor, you made it to us. We were in a fight against Stukov and General Duke. You should have seen Phoenix. He blasted their battle cruisers to hell. It was a glorious battle. Both Duke and Stukov were indeed worthy foes. Interesting. I never thought Tassadar's human companion could survive for this long. Hey, Judicator. Why don't you join us on the battlefield? My task here is crucial. I should remind the Executor to construct additional pylons to prevent any supply block. Fine. All right, everyone. Let's finish this. Anytime you're ready. I was remembering the time that we faced the Tsugaru on Dano 7. They outnumbered us 30 to 1 that day. Yet we overcame their legions like true Templar, just as we shall overcome. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Oh, I wish Tassadar could be here with us. I'm right here, old friend. Thank the gods you are all alive and well. Tassadar, you arrived just in time. <laughs> This should be good. My mentor, I am honored to be in your presence. Tassada, where have you been? I made my way all through the void. And is this how you welcome me, Eldarus? You are right, of course. You represent what is greatest in us all. Peace scattering so incomplete, we be the most incredible soldier from underground. See how easy they all fall down. Digging to the court to seek the light. Let's get out of here, bro. That's the way to survive. Yeah, I'll top for the head. I'm on the set. Do the impossible. Don't you want to bet? Because a lot of things change. We be waiting in vain. If you want to get by, no pain, no gain. Wow. Fakers want to test me again? Sorry, my rhyme's gonna snatch your brain out. I'm so sorry for the straight-up skill. We're gonna make it a happen with the crazy rap skill. 
Get ready to rumble. Now would be the time, uh huh. If you ain't know, now you know. Good luck, fellas. Wow. Wow. Very impressed. Damn, Tassadar. I thought you died on ire. I never tasted death, O oh Queen of the Zerg. Nor shall I. Foolish Templar. I'll kill you myself. I live to serve, Ire. Amusing. Executor, your taste in companions grows ever more inexplicable. What? You became a Protoss now, darling? She is under mind control, Jimbo. The Queen of Blades is nothing more than a mindless husk now. Rest in peace, darling. It's been a bash. Wait, did he just call me Jimbo? That's reassuring. Either way, we solved our problem. Unfortunately for you all, Kerrigan's death ends our alliance. It's time to decide who will rule the Koprulu sector, here and now. At it again, Arcturus? I am inclined to agree. We will burn your pathetic fleet down to the last man. Dominion is at your disposal, Executor. Whatever leniency I extended to you and your comrades before, you've been in error. Oh? I presume you just said you were right, Alderus. Be silent, Judicator! Directorate is at your disposal, Executor. Your warriors fought bravely, Admiral Dugal. I shall remember them. If only they didn't stand in our way. Executor, the victory is ours. Now let us find Zeratul. Of course. I cannot rest while my homeworld is being defiled by the Zerg. Nothing shall prevent me from reclaiming ire. Mind if I tag along? I want to see this through. We shall, friend Raynor. We shall. Prelate Zeratul, we have tracked Duran in his main base of operation. He resides within a small science facility. Since our numbers are so diminished, I advise you to infiltrate the facility with our remaining Dark Templar. Indeed, we have suffered great losses in this endeavor. However, we cannot stop now. After I killed the new Overmind on Char, I saw a memory from the very future. What I foresaw was more horrible than we have ever faced before. I beheld a fallen Zelnaga, sleeping within the depths of the void, 
which will doom the entire galaxy with his awakening. Our nemesis, Samia Duran, is a servant to him, and he is planning to awaken his dark master. Duran's death will prevent this grim future and ensure our safety. May Adun watch over you, Zeratul. Even if we fail in this task, know that it was an honor to fight alongside you. Adun Toridas, brother. for far too long, young prodigal. Nothing you do will change the shape of our history. Then why are you so eager to escape? You have no secrets from me this time, you abomination. You could play a part in my master's grand design, but it seems you are as hopeless as the rest of your prideful brethren. Your master will never wake from his slumber. So be it. It is done. It will be done. And Taro Adun, I do this for my So be it. Greetings, Dark One. I have come to bring you home once again. Greetings to you, mighty Tassadar. I knew that you would return to us. Let us speed our way home and save Ayer. You would be surprised how easy it is to sneak into Raynor's spaceship. I would love to experience that myself. Power to the peeps. Power for the dream. Still missing peace scattering so incomplete. We be the most incredible soldier from underground. See how easy they all fall down. Digging to the court to see the light. Let's get out of here, bro. That's the way to survive. Yo, top of the head, out on the set. Do the impossible. Don't you want to bet? Because a lot of things change. We'd be waiting in vain. If you want to get by, no pain, no gain. Wow, fakers want to test me again? Sorry, my rhyme's gonna snatch your brain out. Yo, I'm so sorry for the straight up skill. We gotta make it a happen with the crazy rap skill. Get ready to rumble. Now would be the time, uh huh? If you ain't no, now you know. Good luck, fellows.